No longer a professional motorcycle racer, or skateboarder, a surfer, snowboarder, mountain biker, or even a simple fisherman, I realized right then and there that I was destined to do far greater things in my life than my personal interests or ambitions. Things that affect people's lives, a future larger than myself, and a vision of a long road to a greater good. I got to the hospital and I walk in and Aaron's strapped to a rotation bed with probably eight different machines, heart monitors, the ventilator, a whole host of others. And I, I, I simply couldn't breathe. The nurse came in to say that the doctor, the neurosurgeon, would like to talk to us about the surgery and prognosis, etc. And Dr. Lee, just, you know, very, somewhat coldly, said, the surgery went very well. However, he'll, uh, your son will have about one in a million chance of ever having any kind of function. And then th the words just kept, you know, they just trailed off at that point. And I just remember standing up saying, no, 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 you can, don't ever tell my son that. And I, I need to just come back tomorrow and talk to you about actually the procedure and not the prognosis. And I, I walked out. We went to little local gyms, um, and the equipment's not adapted. I mean, I'm in a power wheelchair. I'm being transferred from machine to machine, and it just it doesn't work. And it was just beating me up mentally. And uh, that's where you know my darkest days really set in. The Center of Restorative Exercise caters to one in five Americans that suffers from some form of disabling condition, such as spinal cord injury, stroke, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, obesity, war veterans. CORE has recognized a need within today's healthcare system. We are giving more control to the individual, thus more confidence and responsibility so that they can take more initiative with their own wellness. So here we are. Uh, 11 years. This is the culmination of a lot of work, a recovery process, and uh, today we're sitting in the four walls of CORE. This is a dream that uh, you and I have shared, and um, together we are building uh, a future for the greater good, along with Taylor Isaacs. Taylor Kevin Isaacs is an integral part of this entire development, and so here we are, center of restorative exercise. We met Taylor 10 years ago and the course of our life changed after Aaron's injury. 
We have maximized uh, his recovery potential and together the three of us are fulfilling a need that is so great, not only in our community here of Northridge, California, but across this country and globally. So we are setting CORE up as a model center here in Northridge with the goal of duplicating CORE across the country. Um, it is a place for people to come and find their power, to become empowered. As you can see by our, the choice of decor, our image, everything about CORE is cutting edge, it's state of the art, and it is really helping shift people's perceptions with what is possible. I am so proud and, and so satisfied that this long journey of Aaron having broken his neck and the devastation that we suffered, we've been able to turn it into something so purposeful, so needed, and so beautiful.